Hamson's a go. Very exciting. It's been really fun. You know, it's really fun to play all the different levels of their relationship, and and you know, there are so many challenges that arise for them. Um, but I think fans will be super stoked to see where they go this season because finally it's it's on. You know. You know, the big question this season with Ivy is, can we trust her, can we not trust her? Of course, Kristen wants to develop a relationship with her. She's the only real blood family that she has in her life right now um, and that she uh, thinks she could have a relationship with. Um, so, you know, Kristen really wants to trust her and I think throughout the course of the season their relationship gets stronger and stronger. I am really excited for the fans to see Camston because it's really a lot of fun. Kyle and I have had a great time working on it together this season. Um, yeah, because, you know, it's all of that. Like, we most enjoy the human stuff, and so it's really fun to have had so much of that this season, and, and still the procedural, but so much human connection. Um, I'm really excited for all the fans to see just all of the relationships this season. I think they're going to have a really fun time with it. Don't waste no time in moving in uh, to, to the, uh, the, the, the open door that uh, Nina has left. And it's episode two, season three, Cameron and Kirsten are already kind of calling themselves boyfriend and girlfriend. I think it was something that was a long time coming. And uh, so they're finally able to be emotionally available for each other. And the, the, they have arrived as, as a couple. And they're having a, uh, it's, it's a good, you know, back and forth. Like the banter this season between them is, is, is more of a flirty banter versus before, like, they just love to hate each other. This season, I think, for me and Emma to play Kirsten and Cameron, I think we really get to kind of lean into what we do best with our chemistry as actors as with these characters because, because it's been such a long time coming that we're able to finally sit into it a little bit more and give the fans what they want. And, you know, I think it elevates the show because I think that's what ultimately sells the show um, is this relationship between these, these two, you know, nerds working for the NSA that are finally able to express their feelings for one another amidst this crazy world that they work in. What I'm most excited uh, for this season for fans to see is that, you know, we, we definitely make this season worth the wait. Um, I think, like I said before, everything's firing in all cylinders. The look of the show is, is the best that it's been. Um, the, I think the performances are at a place that they haven't been before where everyone kind of knows where they stand w with the show, with their character. And the relationships are, what been, you know, the, are the driving force behind this show, and it's, that's what we're giving you this season, is that the, the people you want to see together are together. The people you thought you would see together might not be together, but they're with other new characters that heighten the show, and I think really take you on a fun and exciting ride this season. Season three picks up right where season two left off with Kirsten in the tank and Cameron still by her side. He hasn't left yet. And we as a team are trying to figure out how we're going to get Kirsten out of her, the memory loop of her mother. There's some tragedy that strikes and I think that kind of gives him a lot of time to internally reflect on his situation and see, you know, what, why he does what he does. You know, his parents are a big part to we, we learn at the end of season two that they know about the program and they approve of it and I think that was a big weight off of his shoulder so he didn't have to hide a secret. Uh, so I think it, uh, it, it changes him in a way he becomes a little bit more confident and you know he finds new love. I think this, this season we really made a point to kind of deepen the stitches in both complexity and in scope you know and I think the fans are gonna really appreciate it especially uh, even visually they look I've seen the first couple of episodes and they look fantastic. Stephanie and Quincy, they, they, they have this bond and this love that, that um, I think he realized when they were separated that uh, is way more important than anything else, um, except maybe the program. And so he, you know, he, he wants to get back together with her and the fact that, that she, you know, is open to it is great because he thought he burned that bridge. Um, and so they give it a go. Um, you know, it's another thing is it's work can can be a problem sometimes. And I think that we see that towards the end of the season that sometimes you have to make a choice. There's a big change for Camille this season. And, you know, she finds I think she finds actual love um, for maybe the first time in her life. She finds something, someone that, that brings out the best in her. But also, um, it's, it's hard. You know, relationships are hard. And I think trying to figure out, again, that balance of 
work and relationships. It's a constant theme. Um, but she seems really happy. I think this is our best season. I think that season three has everything that um, the fans have wanted, that us as a cast have wanted to, to like shed light on. We have more action. We have our relationships. We have answers to questions that we've been searching for for quite a while.